Hi everyone, it's Shannon, aka QB Crossing. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today we are back with another Dream Island tour, and this one is a soft forest core island. It is set in the very early morning hours, so it's just super cozy. I can't wait to share it with you guys. And the creator said that this one is inspired by summers at the lake. It's just really beautiful. I took a quick look at it before I actually started recording for this tour. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Okay, so first things first, let's check out the island map. So this island is called Raspberry. It's by Crossing with Liz, who is an amazing island designer, and they have some of the best codes I've ever seen. I'm going to put them up on the screen because they have some gorgeous spring pathing. They also are the original creator of that dirt pathing with the stones on the edges. They have two creator codes for that one, so I'll put them both up on screen, but I'm using that code on my new island, and it's just so beautiful. So all around, really amazing creator. And back to the map here. Here, we have some really beautiful terraforming like I said this island was inspired by summers at the lake and I'm seeing two really big lakes on this map and then lots of really pretty just like cliff terraforming and we're also seeing some more structured areas over to the top right so yeah this is just really really beautiful and we have of course lots of cute villagers on this island i am so excited to dive into it but before we get into the tour let's just take a second to thank today's sponsor Thank you to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring today's video. I'm super excited because I am absolutely in love with this game and I think you guys are going to love it also. So with Disney Dreamlight Valley, you will explore a world filled with the magic of Disney as you build your dream neighborhood alongside Disney and Pixar heroes and villains in this new life sim adventure game. The premise of the game is to help save the valley, which was once a happy place until the forgetting happened. So as you play, you'll discover secrets behind what happened and what you can do to save it it's also super customizable so if you like designing you're going to really like this game so you start off by customizing your avatar and there are so many options i spent at least 15 minutes choosing a hairstyle but there's also the touch of magic tool where you can create your own clothing so there's just so many customization options with this game and there's so many fun things to do you can customize your house and your village but you can also craft garden fish cook it's just a really relaxing and fun game so as you know i love decorating games like so much they're my absolute favorite and you can create the home and village of your dreams by collecting tons of disney and pixar items so i've just started my house but i think it looks pretty cute already and you can also decorate everywhere around the village and there's so many amazing items to use i love how many different types of trees and natural items there are i'm really excited to collect more and it's really easy to just move things exactly where you want them to go and my favorite thing is that you can place items in the water. Look at how cute these lily pads are. I've been having so much fun with this game and if you want to try it, use the link in my description. You can buy the Founders Edition of your choice and get early access to Disney Dreamlight Valley today. Let me know what you guys think if you do play it. I've been loving it, but let's get back to the video. Okay, so back on the island now. Here we are at the entrance. I'm really liking this little code right here with the cedar tree on the sign. That's really cute. And I'm liking how simple this island is feeling. It's still so beautiful, but I like that it's not too overwhelming with the amount of codes being used on the grass. We have a lot of really just natural beauty coming through here. And then we start off right with this dock. I love this idea of starting off your island with a huge lake or some really cool terraforming this is just so calming and relaxing i would love to be sitting here just taking in the view maybe having a cup of coffee the early morning hours are perfect as well with that like bluish green sky and we have a really nice view with the villager house in the background I think I'm gonna start off to the left and then we will check out the right side of the island. But you can follow this pathway down this way a little bit more. And I like that the dock just transitions to this dirt pathing. And then just so many pretty details with the codes that Liz is using. We have like a little puddle by the bucket as well as a grate. And then this actually leads us to our first villager house. I'm loving all of the little pops of blue over here also, like on the table we have a blue like picnic pattern. And then we also have a blue lantern, which just works really well with some of the blue details on this villager house. 
If we come back over this way, I just want to see what's going on on the beach. This is really cute. I think this actually may be Liz or one of the other reps. Okay, bakery. So I guess one of the rep houses is a bakery. Super cute. And this little white wood pathing is really beautiful, leading you over to the water. And then just some other really sweet details like places to eat and just sit with a little picnic as well as this strawberry garden. Or maybe it's supposed to be raspberries since that is the name of this island. But really just sweet. And I just love the way that Liz sets up these small areas it's just everything is so perfectly placed and really just beautiful honestly it's the perfect amount of decorated and it's just not too overwhelming it just feels simple and stunning honestly so let's get back on the mainland here and go up this incline. I really like the natural inclines on this island as well. I think that you can't get a better incline for a natural island. Of course, it is called the natural ramp, so that makes sense, but it just looks really, really good. And look at this little transition area with the two inclines on each side. That looks really nice. And I think we can get another view of the lake down here little place to sit as well as all of these mums just has a really overgrown and beautiful feel and let's open up the camera and see what it looks like from this angle this is really pretty because we're also getting that like stone bridge in the background there Ugh, this island is just so relaxing definitely if i need a relaxing island to visit after a stressful work day this is probably going to be the go-to for that Okay, so over to the left here on the beach, we have some other really cute setups like this place to fish. And then I like how she's using the fencing so that you can just kind of come through here and it just makes these little transitions a lot more, I don't know, decorated and they just feel more structured. We also have this little boat code, which looks really cute. And then a little boardwalk feel over here by the lighthouse. I just really cannot stop swooning over this island. If you saw me right now, I feel like I'm just smiling so big everywhere that we go. We have this little bridge over here, which leads us to one of the rep houses. And again, we're seeing some more of these blue details, which is so pretty. I love that it's really just adding a little bit of color to some of these more natural elements around the island and some of these more brown and green tones. If we come through this little walkway over here, again, this little like cutout standee door design is one of my favorites. I love that Liz is using it so much throughout this island. And this is a really cute little pathway. Again, a garden over here. And the garden shed is also a great item to use for decorating or that storage shed is what I meant to say. And then over here, we have another villager house. Definitely has a very nautical feel with some of these boats. And then if we go over this bridge, we have another villager house. But this terraforming, I just want to stop and take a look at it. Maybe open up the camera because this is a really cool layout for a tiny villager neighborhood. I really love separating like two villager houses with some water in between. And this is just really great inspiration for that. If we come over here, we have more of this like dock design leading to this other villager house and just really great detail all throughout here with the codes being used. I think that I missed something all the way over to the left. So we're just before we get too close to the middle and right side of the island, let's just run back here. Yeah, so we have the campsite over this way if you go up the incline and then this has a little bridge leading to the campsite such a great idea just to make it a little bit more visually interesting i always love adding in little waterways and diagonal bridges wherever i can and this is just the perfect campsite in the back of the island we have some firewood a place to cook and then if you go over this bridge over here it looks like they're using this shed maybe as like a little bathroom and i think that that is just so clever and cute i really like this this is just the perfect little campsite and the terraforming is just beautiful i'll make sure i go check out the beach as well because there was a few things this is probably perfect for the camper staying here they have a little place to fish as well as another smaller campsite out here and then another grill if they want to do some cooking as well as a place to park it looks like and let's see back here 
Looks like you can have a little campfire with some friends and then a place to do some laundry. This is so sweet. I really, really like how creative Liss is with all these little areas on their island. So if we continue over this way a little bit more now, I think we're gonna follow this pathway back here and look at how pretty this is. I just love using log stakes as fencing, so I love that Liz is doing that. And we have a little place to eat with the little fairy lights, which looks so good. And then you can also kind of come back here, and this rock is accessible, which is really nice. I think I'm going to head up forward a little bit more because I didn't see what is over to the other side of this path yet. Okay, so this is an extension of the lake, which is really nice. Also, all the little signs that she's using throughout are really cute. I love them. <laughs> I love just seeing which codes creators kind of curate for themselves and end up using because they're always really inspiring. Over here, we have a little picnic farm and the greens and white pumpkins, they just really match the overall aesthetic of this island. Just the layout here with the cardboard boxes and the wooden boxes, there's so much detail throughout this. And then if we follow this little dirt pathing up a little bit more, we have some more villager houses. And this looks like the more town center of the island. These actually might be, cause they have like little menu signs in front of them. They might actually be little shops because we're seeing those menu signs and then we're seeing some stalls out in front there, which again, the patterns being used on the stall just match the overall aesthetic so well. And this little street path that Liz is using, it just transitions really nicely from the more natural areas of the island. I think it's really great if you can have a mix of these more natural areas with the structured areas. I've definitely said this in other videos before, but I always just feel like having that perfect balance between the two is really nice. This actually leads up to residence services. So if you were to go behind residence services, you would come over here. And let's see, oh, what a pretty little transition. And wait, before we go back there, I wanna open up the camera and just take in this view with this, oh, this must be like a town center because it looks like all of these villager houses have menu signs in front of them. So it looks like some little stores. What a charming little town this is. I am so in love with everything Liz creates from her codes to her actual island designs. They're just really inspiring. Over here, we have a little picnic area by the lake and you can actually get up to this little rooftop with an incline. And oh my gosh, look at the view that we're getting here of this lake. This is so beautiful. I I just really don't think there's anything better than creating a big lake on your island for a couple of reasons. One, because it just takes up a lot of space so you can finish your island faster, but also it's just really relaxing and fun to decorate a lake in this game and just play around with some terraforming. Okay, so we have another, oh, this looks like a dessert shop, so a little bakery. And then I really like how the end of this pathway, we have some other stalls and some places to sit. If we come up over here, look at how cute with the baby carriage. And if we come to the right, so actually just to orient ourselves, this is to the right of resident services. So if we had went to the right first, we would have been more in this town area, but we started with the more natural side. And then over here, just such a gorgeous view of this. This is actually one of the resident reps houses, but I think that this is like a little clothing store that they made it into. Lots of storefronts in the back there to fill out this town vibe. And then another bakery. And again, these blues are just so pretty. It's so satisfying to see some more color on islands. Okay, we're gonna go, before we head up to the front of the island, I wanna just check out everything over to the right. So the beach looks pretty simple. We have some like little fishing areas and then this little white pathing path all throughout here. What a pretty code for a picnic blanket as well. I'll try to get as many of the codes as I can find for you guys in the description. So I will update that as I find codes. We have a, Oh, I almost said a campsite. We have the museum over here still in its tent, which is my favorite form of the museum. And then a really cute little pier with a place to maybe wait for a boat to come because I see that we have a suitcase here. So just another way to kind of get creative with your pier. 
more little cute spots over on the beach as well and again i cannot get over all the blue being used on this island it's so pretty and it just is such a fun little color palette that i haven't ever thought to do on my own island so definitely feeling inspired here looks like we have a public pool over here which is just the cutest i love this code for the pool and all of the little decoration on top of it little lawn chairs throughout here and places to sit as well as these little lounge chairs as well to lay out by the pool and again with this tr these transition areas using these little cutout sandies is such a fun idea kind of feels like it's a gate to the pool also and then it looks like a little place with some shops and then we have evil sisters over here at the end of this pathway and if we come up over here we have a little park which is so cute i really like this it's so simple but it's so stunning and whatever time of year this is in i think that this is summer the green is just so vibrant and it looks really nice in this time of day I think I've always just been a sucker for just early morning islands, so I'm really just in my prime right now. Oh, so we have a rooftop behind Nook's Cranny. This is such a fun idea. And you can actually get a view of the park as well as some of the beautiful pathing that she's laid out throughout this island of the town. Such a fun idea. I really wanna find this code because I really like that it looks like an extension of Nook's. But since we're over here, let's check out the front of Nook's Cranny as well because we didn't actually see that yet. So following this pathway over here and up this way, we have a really adorable Nook's Cranny with this cute little sail flag as well as a place to maybe weigh some vegetables. I don't know what it is, but there's something so beautiful about seeing the green grass just right up against this kind of concrete street code. It's really just so aesthetically pleasing to me, and I don't know, I just really love it. Okay, so I think we saw this part of the town. We're going to head up this incline to the back here, and we have some really beautiful terraforming. Down there, there's also some boats and some other really cute decoration on the beaches, like the lighthouse. We'll try to go back down there later, but this actually leads to a really stunning view of another one of the rep houses and look at this terraforming over here before we do that i just want to check out what's on this side oh there's a little ladder over here okay we're gonna head down this ladder and over the bridge another villager house with the cutest little setup i just adore this and i feel like Liz is using a lot of items that i don't usually think to use like the stone fencing or even the lawnmower and some of the trash bags to make it really kind of believable and realistic if we come up over this way just some more details over here to take a look at and did we ever see what was down there? I don't remember if we got to that villager house, so maybe we'll have to loop around again after. But I do wanna take a look at this view that we had started getting a look at. But wow, is this not one of the most beautiful views you've ever seen? I love just the two inclines, the bridge, and then that house in the distance there. So beautiful. I, I don't know, I think that this is just one of those things that just won't get old about animal crossing i will never get sick of seeing a beautiful view like this and how creative everyone gets with their terraforming so then if we come down here to the rep house we have a little log cabin lots of firewood and really just cute details like laundry and other little things like that as well as a larger table over here maybe you could have some dinner with friends out on the peninsula and this is where we were looking at from that higher level before we also have a lighthouse on the peninsula such a great little design there and a little place to maybe go swimming this is where the lifeguard would sit i just love all of the little details that are just coming through with this island so let's get back onto the main pathway i feel like we've missed a couple of little things on this island and i just want to make sure that we see everything because i cannot get enough of just this overall aesthetic and island in general so coming back down through here we're going to loop around and just see what else is going on here on this beautiful little island 
Okay, so I looped back over here, over by the park, and if we follow this pathway through here, we have what looks to be like a little community garden center, and then the other side, it looks like we have just some more little flower fields and garden little setups as well, which is super, super cute. And if we follow this pathway over here, I just wanna make sure that we saw this area as well. So this is over to the right of the airport. This is where we didn't come when we first landed, but again, really cute views all throughout. We have another villager house over there, and then they have this little setup in front of their house with a boat, a little walkway to the beach, and then look at how cute this is. I love this so much. I like the bench a lot in between these two boats and the little ducks out in front. It's just really charming, which I've been just feeling like this is one of the most charming aesthetic islands that I've ever seen. And I really think you guys will agree. So I'm excited to hear what you all think about it. And this villager house over here, I love the way that the dock leads to it from the entrance, but then we also have this little dirt pathing throughout here and a way to just kind of come through here with this fencing breaking off these two pathways. So good. And this actually leads us back over by resident services. I also realized when we saw this rock area that was accessible before that you can actually come through this way and there was another villager house over over here which is just so hidden behind this lake and it's really kind of nestled within the cliff so cute and they have a little potato farm just adorable but okay I think we've actually seen everything on this island now I can't wait to hear what you guys think about it I am really inspired just by this overall aesthetic and just the really simplistic beauty of this island be sure to show the creator some love if you liked this island as much as I did and definitely check out some of their custom codes because they are so so beautiful anyway i hope that you guys all have an amazing day i will see you in the next video bye